use the word Aaron, invaders. The children are the victims. Guns. They're coming because they want to be I'm not part talking of about the country, children. I'm talking about their parents. Destroy. I read today about a 10-year-old uh, girl with Down syndrome who was taken from her mother and put in a cage. Wah, wah. I read about a, a, did you say want, want to a 10-year-old with Down syndrome what being I taken from her mother? What I said is you can pick anything How you dare want you? up. The- uh, John, that's what passes for the cable news discourse this evening. Yeah. Um, it, it's been a tough day, um, and it's been. Okay. Yeah. So, this has been a day. <laughs> when I found the article about one of our border patrols who had sexually assaulted the child. Okay. First, in, enjoy these inserted images. I'm sure you will. <laughs> I really wanted to bring some awareness to the fact that during these current laws, the people are not really allowed and supposedly not even permitted to touch children, clearly by the story that I did Monday that was proof that it does go on. Okay? Next I tried to take a very gentle approach and perhaps show you guys that it is wrong to separate a child from their parents or their family or whomever it is that is their caregiver. Now, in a longer term, if they abide by their rules and have no contact, no physical contact with a child, that can lead to a bevy of psychological problems. Whom then, if we're going to appeal to the purse strings, let's take it to that level since that's uh, such the issue, okay? We want to take it to that level. When we consider the amount that is spent to help the mentally challenged, If you have no physical contact at a tender age, the ramifications and the long-term trauma is undeniable. Okay. With that in mind, I make no apologies for the past two days of the videos that I've made. None what so ever. All right? I have seen in my comment section some of the strangest and most unpredictable things that I could have possibly imagined. But I am so thankful for each and every one of them. Okay? Let's not forget ever. This harkens back to one of our darkest times in American history, and yet, if you deny it happened, you are fooling yourself, okay? And that was the Japanese internment camps. And yes, during the Ellis Island times, we were checked over to make sure that we had no eye problems, no teeth problems, no physical impalements that would otherwise jeopardize those who already lived here. But our current administration is so hell-bent on two different approaches to this current law. I really don't think he knows Hutu back. Now, we have our former former first lady who is come out, and yes, she does have that big R, that big Republican R in front of her name. And she's been very, very forthcoming and saying this is wrong. And this is the same lady that after her husband had to go through 9-11, was the first one out trying to explain to we adults 
how best to speak to our children to keep them from being fearful. And even our current administration's daughter has taken her dad aside and saying, a lot of bad stuff can come from what you're doing. Okay? So you can back him, track him, slap him, not like him, say that he's a hero among men and that he's a business man who has a brilliant mind. And I suggest to you that you have every privilege, right, and encouragement to say these things and feel how you feel. But what I have a problem with is taking children away from their parents. Away from their guardians and away from the ones who give them safe and in truth unconditional physical care and love and in the current situation as it is they cannot even change diapers until health and administrations comes to take them and find them a place there is currently over 2,000 children now you deal with that and I'm sorry if that's cost me subscribers. Well, sorry, not sorry. I'm sorry if that's cost me thumbs down. No, no, sorry, not sorry. And I'm sorry if that's pissed you off at me. Well, no, sorry, not sorry. I really wanted to make really artful and fun and creative things for you guys. That's all I've ever really wanted to do was be a fun entertainer, announcer, give a little bit of public service every once in a while, have a few live streams and shout a few channels out. And the more I see, the more concerned I become. I have removed a bevy of comments from the video. And the one that freaks me out the most was two words. Obviously from a sock account. Because the person was far too huh, timid, I guess, to use their true name and true channel name. Two words. Channel strike. On, Something man. that makes us all fearful, I'm sure. But now, if I get a channel strike, if something happens to my channel because I've tried to present what I believe to be wrong toward, and again, I'm telling you children, then I'm wrong. And I'll be glad to be wrong. I'm here to create, not hate. I'm here to make dank content. I'm here to entertain you and make you laugh at one occasion. And sometimes, I should be allowed to speak those things that I'm impassioned about, just as I have allowed you in the comment section to have the same privilege. And I am terribly sorry, not sorry, if I piss you off. I am your ever-faithful granny monster, and I'm out. Deuces.